Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to use Airtable for your job search. Airtable is a freemium, no-code database tool that makes organizing information very easy, so let's get right to it. Right here is what's called a base. So if I uh, actually go back for a second, and we'll see, here's a list of my bases down here. So this one today is the tutorial job search. So I'll click on that. And bases are made up of tables, which this looks very similar to a spreadsheet. So here we have the tables across the top. We have jobs, companies, people, work history, sites, interview prep, and stories. And the great thing about Airtable is it is a relational database. So anytime you see this icon here, the uh, little arrow pointing, uh, you can hover over it. It'll say link to another record. And here we can see that it's linking to this company's table. So if I would uh, look at this revenue analyst position for spring results, if I go down to companies and I go to spring results, I'll also see the revenue analyst position linked back from jobs. So it's really easy to keep all your information organized and it reduces the amount of times that you have to retype uh, information. So um, across the top here, these are all just different uh, types of data that you want to keep track of. Uh, if you want to add a new column, you can just click the plus button, select, give it a name, select which type of field that it is, and that's all there is to it. So I'm going to go back and delete this field. But then when we are on uh, the position and title, so this is just where you would find a job that you want to apply for. So we're gonna say, we're gonna add a new one here. So we see uh, this position is available. So I'm just gonna copy that title, click down here, add that. And then when I click the plus button for company, it'll actually open up a search. So if this company already existed on that company's table, um, like that spring results we talked about, that would come up here, uh, but this one does not. So we're just gonna type that in and click add a new record. And now when we go to the companies table, we'll see that that record was created. So then uh, we'll just add, we'll assume uh, this is the person that we'll be interviewing with. So we'll just add Sheila Rogers as one of the people. You can add other people that you meet along the interview process with a company. Uh, for the application, or we'll say it was posted on the 24th. We applied on Saturday. And here the refer, again, we can see from here that it's a, a linked record. It's linked from this sites table. And here's a list of all the different job boards. Job boards. We'll click here and find uh, Indeed. Then one thing that I do is um, you can always just uh, print and I save a copy of the job description for later. So I'll just leave that as a Marketing specialist. So now when I come back here and I can upload a file uh, You have a lot of different options. I'm going to choose this one where I'm just uploading it from my device But you can also do a link uh, web search photo uh, Integrates with Google Drive and Dropbox Gmail Facebook. So a lot of options here. I'm just gonna click the plus I'm going to find uh, this, I'm going to click upload, does it super quick. And now when I click on it, we'll see that I have that information readily available. Next, I will add my resume that I created for this position. I'll put um, right here and then do the same thing uh, for the cover letter, which will be right here. Then you can also choose the the level of the job and these aren't set in stone you can edit these any way you want so let's say uh, just go to customize field type if you didn't want entry on there uh, then you can also uh, edit uh, or here let me first let me first save that so you can see then now it got rid of uh, if I click here, you'll see entry is no longer available, but now we're going to add it back in. So we'll go to customize field type, type in and I'm going to change the color here, which is, this is really helpful anytime you're using like a stage or a status to show like red or green, but you can also use it for something like this. So I'll just change that to a lightish blue, click save. And now when I come back here, 
I'll see that entry is once again an option. I'm gonna click associate for this purpose, put in the salary, put in the stage that you're in. So right now this is just one that we've applied to. And then your next follow-up date. So you, you applied on Saturday, uh, so you want to follow up in about two weeks. So that would be, um, we'll say the 11th. You can also put notes from the interview in here. So this is just uh, like a text text area that you can type in whatever information you want. So now that um, one of the things too that makes Airtable uh, very easy to use is anytime you have a single select field like stage here, uh, you can actually use some different views. So if I click on views and I click, um, right now we're in the grid view. So this looks just like a normal spreadsheet. But if I click by stage, um, I can see it, it's a quick visual as to where all these things are at. So I can see on the social me social media manager, I have an offer, but then that uh, job that I just added here, and you'll see that it even pulls in uh, an image of the resume that I uploaded. Um, this is just in the apply, but let's say that they want to schedule a phone screen. I can then move that along to phone screen. And if that does goes well, move that along to in-person interview. Now, when I switch back to the grid view, we'll see that it's updated that field as well. So really easy way to keep track of where you are in the interview process. Um, you can also have a calendar view and this just pulls in um, here. It, it'll pull in all of the available day fields, but you have to choose one of them. So I just have this used on next follow up so I can see when I need to be following up uh, on these different applications if I don't hear back from the company first. So now that we have that, I'm going to go on to the Companies tab. And this is really related from um, both the Jobs table and the Work History table. So in this column here with Jobs, I know that these are related to the Jobs table where the Work History is related to the Work History table. So these are all places that I've worked. These are all places that I want to work. Uh, you can also have you can also add companies where uh, it's been neither. So let's say that we are really interested in working for Google. Uh, we'll add that as a company. And here we can just add how interested we are. So you maybe you have a list of companies, uh, varying ranges of how interested you are in working for them. You can set that here and then we can use this as a sort field if you'd like. Uh, here we'll put in the career sites URL so that way you don't have to go to the main website every time and find it and now we can just click here and we'll see that that opens up uh, their careers page uh, city you can put that in if you're looking for a local type of job if you're doing a remote job search that's not as important and then um, notes and attachments as well um, you could also um, from here you can also add a record to the jobs table without even needing to click on it so I'll come here I'll just copy uh, the product marketing manager and I'll click, I'll just paste that in, click add a new record. And now when we go back to the jobs table and I switch to grid view, we'll see that it has added this record and I can fill in the rest of the information about it. So again, you can work in whichever view you're most comfortable with, but it's all related, which makes this very easy to use. Next, we'll go to the people tab, people table, I should say. Sometimes I say tab and table interchangeably. Um, but we'll see right now, this is sorted by one field. This is sorted by hiring manager is from checkbox to blank checkbox. So we're, we wanna see all the people that have a hiring manager first. So again, just the name of the person, the jobs that they're related to, the, the past jobs they're related to, so colleagues. And then you can have a checkbox here for a hiring manager. You can also have a checkbox for reference. So uh, if you're doing a job application that's asking for references, this is really easy to do. You could either sort or filter. So I'm going to put a filter on and say where reference is true. And now it's only showing uh, these references. I can copy their uh, phone number, email, relationship, title, and then there's also fields for LinkedIn, Twitter, notes and attachments, if there's anything you want to add. 
Next will be the work history. This is just showing all the places that you've worked at in the past. And again, it's related to this company's table. And then the rest is self-explanatory, uh, just the from date, the to date, the address where you worked, phone number, who your manager, and you could put any colleagues here. This doesn't have to be necessarily just your manager. It could be a list of all your colleagues. A summary of your responsibilities, starting and ending salary, reasons for leaving, and then stories of things that happened when you work there, which this is really important uh, when we get to the interview prep tab here in just a minute. Then we have a list of the sites, and you saw this earlier, just a list of the different um, job boards that are out there. And then there's also just a row for company website. This could obviously be a lot of different um, information, but this is just a way to be able to group it, to kind of find where we're finding all of these different job openings. Then next is the interview prep site, and it's already in Kanban view, but I'm gonna switch back to grid view. So here is where you'll just collect a list of questions that either you've been asked in the past or if you're doing some research, uh, preparing for an interview on what questions you might get asked. You can just add the question here in the first column. And then you'll see we have this related stories table here. And then our comfort in answering. So this is a great way to be able to practice some interview questions and really brush up on things that you're not as comfortable answering as others. So now I'll switch back to this Kanban view. And since we're um, using this uh, stacked in comfort in answering column, we'll see um, this information again in an easy to view board. So this one might be something, um, what would a former coworker say about you? So you're not comfortable in answering that right now, but you've put some time on it and you're getting more comfortable. You can just drag it into the medium column. Then finally is the stories table. And here's where you're going to record the different stories that kind of back up uh, why a company should hire you. It gives you um, some examples from your past work and it does use the star format. So the situation, task, action, and result. And then you can just give it uh, whatever title you want for your story. You can choose your categories here. This is a multiple select. So you'll see here this was working with others and then also success. So you can create whatever tags you want that apply to it. Makes it a little bit easier to filter and sort. Um, and here, so the situation, they needed a website. They had to get input from different departments. They had to ask questions to find out what the main pain points were. And the new website launched on time and everyone was happy. And this relates uh, to the marketing specialist position. Where if I click on that, I can see it was for uh, when we worked for Freeman from May of 2012 until March of 2013. And then uh, it relates to this interview prep question of talk about a time you had to work closely with someone whose personality was very different from yours. So um, again, it, this will go back. So now I want to go to the interview prep and I'll switch to grid. When we say talk about a time when you had to work closely with someone whose personality was very different from yours, we'll see this web design, website redesign story. And here we have this situation, task, action, and result. And since uh, we are weak in answering this, but after um, kind of getting that, nailing that story down, now we're gonna change that to strong. So I hope this all makes sense. Um, always feel free to uh, reach out to me uh, if you have any questions, but you do have um, the base that you can, or the template that you can clone from. So I hope this all makes sense and I hope this video was helpful.